Uh, Ray of Hope is a place where all are welcomed, treated as the beloved, given the tangible assistance they need, and they at the same time envelop that person in a spiritual warmth and depth. Ten years ago, I was homeless and lost my four daughters to meth. I was just really struggling. I got laid off from work and um, I've had a hard time like trying to get a job anywhere else. I was living a life that was completely out of control. Um, drug addict, drunk, um, no respect for anything. I just got custody of my little brother so I have him and my son and I'm looking for work and I'm a college student so it's been a hard. Just had a divorce, um, very traumatic experience. Had to leave very quickly. It is a ministry that tries to change the lifestyle of people rather than just helping them through a crisis. It, it, it focuses upon teaching them how to live a new life and to make wise decisions. I was raised in a wealthy area. I just, there was something I was trying to escape and just kept making poor choices. I walked up on the porch one day and needed a place and was actually wanting to change my life. And I stayed there for about a month and a half and um, that's where the seeds of positive change started for me. I have known Bob and Peggy, I guess it was back in the mid-90s, and I found out that both of them had a passion for unwed mothers. Peggy wanted to help these, these gals out, and she talked to me and she talked to one of the other staff people about maybe just having a place here in the church where we could store used clothes. And we did that and we called it the Joseph Room. I, I watched that ministry develop, and I, I watched it from its very, very birth, and was so impressed with the energy that she poured into these gals' lives in an attempt to save them from a, a, a destructive lifestyle. She looked me in my eye and she said, Mandy, one day you're gonna help people in recovery. And I laughed, I actually laughed in her face, and I said, absolutely not. And I called somebody and said, you need to get me out of this house. 10 years later, I had been involved in Celebrate Recovery at Family Life Christian Church and thought of the house, you know, a ray of hope. And I walked up on the porch and it was just different standing on that porch again and being in a different spot in my life. And Peggy's smile went from ear to ear and she said, oh my gosh, Mandy, you're back. We have been forming a friendship and a bond since then. She's my mentor, my friend. They did not want to be inhibited by government regulations. Since I have retired from pastoring, I have referred people to Array of Hope because I knew that they would be in the hands of some very, very loving and caring people. And we have Hope Thrift. There's times families come in and they don't have anything. And so Array of Hope will say, go to the store, pick out what you need. I went in and talked to Mandy and she was very generous and uh, wrote me a slip to go to the uh, store and I was able to get a bed and a table so we could sit and eat together. We take time to sit and learn the stories of the people that come in and their hearts and what their needs are. Well, I went there for the um, adopt family for Christmas so that um, we could get a little bit of help. It is a hand up and not a handout, so there are many times that we say, can you give time back to the store for two hours or would you come and make a dinner for the house? We try to surround that house with a lot of love and 
um, building up people's character and, and, and make, helping them be who God created them to be. At this point, I own a home, married with three kids, one on the way. I own a successful business in the valley. Um, I've been in business six and a half years. I've had the privilege to help out by hiring people from the shelter. They have been so wonderful to us, and it's just been a blessing. I mean, they're just, it's like my, a new family to me in Cheyenne. They've helped us out quite a bit. I didn't think there was anything like this out there. Um, I didn't know there was people out there that were so helping. As I watched them continue to expand of now building a house, especially for mothers and their children, I deeply respect the time and the energy and the expense that they put into this. A Ray of Hope is uh, based on God's love. And most people, or all people in my opinion, need love. And God uses that shelter to show love.